Oh boy. Where are we at here? Um, can't even write this finger. So, you bring your amp to the tech, your prized vintage Fender, and it's a silver face, or maybe it's a late, later model black face. And it's got a few of these guys left. It's got a few of these guys left. And they're on the circuit board, it's all original. Got these guys, then it's got these guys. I already cleaned these off, that's why they look nice. It's got these left. And he says, I need to replace all your caps. Grab your amp and run away. These aren't the caps he's supposed to be touching. He can test them, but any, any tech that tells you that these all need to go, in, in particular, not these ceramics, in particular, these guys. I don't care if they're the red ones or brown ones. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that they're good. So leave them alone. You'll have to doubt the integrity of that person or their uh, technical acumen if they tell you these need to go. So... I've already tested all of these after uh, having cleaned off the circuit board for that original depopulated. This is not cleaned, I should have said. I've already tested them, and, and these are within, wow, they're within 5%, and most of them are bang on still. No leak leakage, <laughs> leakage, love, to love. All the way up to working voltage, I, I went up to uh, 600 volts or 400 volts where appropriate. And I'll, um, I'll run some clips of that in a moment. So just, just a word of, of warning. Just educate yourself. These seldom leak. A lot of guys will... Mm, a lot of guys will say that, yeah, but for the phase inverter position, it's incredibly important to have two just tip top caps there you want to spare the the power tubes you want to spare your power transformer or your output transformer rather and yeah that's true so test them especially if, if you have these guys these guys are excellent sounding caps there's this is the last cap to hand off the signal to the power amp one's in this position and there's no need to replace these if they're not leaking. But if you want to play it safe, go ahead and do that. Because there are lots of caps that sound great there. But you don't have to. Let's test her for value. Point 0.1. She's showing a point oh 0.09. Let's see if these leads are actually zeroed out first. What am I doing? Throw the whole thing off. Still good. Let's see if she's leaky. It's important though. So let's just start at 200. No. 300 volts. Oh no. 400 volts. Fine. Especially for a tone circuit. Good to go. All right. Test these point ones. These are 600 volt parts. 
the uh, ones you find in the late 60s, early 70s. I do like these as well. These guys are great. Should be point one easier phase inverted coupling caps. So let's go for value. Oop, I'm so sorry, doing a ringing test. Point one, looking great. Leakage, here's 400 volts. Five hundred volts. Nice and six hundred volts. Excellent. Holding up steady. I like it. Nice, and these are discharging. The other point one, let's check it out. Okay, this guy. Let's store all these at 200. Value should be a point one, nice. Leaking, yes or no? 200 volts, no. 400 volts, no. 500 volts. No, 600 volts. No, not really. Awesome. Nice. Almost through them. And the final 600 volt point one. Let's see, come on down lady. This dude here. Go for value. Point 0.1. Nice. Leakage 200 volts. No. 300 volts. Mm, no. 400 volts. No. 500. Six hundred. No. Awesome. to the old it's 400 volt caps all right yeah point zero four seven that's what we're supposed to be seeing value nice you just move her six places over and then you have your microfarads. Like it. It's pressure tester, 200 volts. Nope. 300. Nope. 400. Good to go. These old caps are quality, man. And they sound great. Here we go again, another 0 0.047. Let's get value. Nice. Leakage 300 volts. Nope. 400 volts. Nope. Like it. This guy here is down to 200 volts and I'm having a hard time. I think that's 0.1. I 
Nice. Let's go straight to 200 volts for leakage. No leakage. Love it. So when you see these guys, um, you see that these guys have all been removed. It really makes you think about the, the credibility and integrity of the person who's doing the testing. Just shotgunning things. You don't need to just shotgun all these caps to hell. These things actually make a difference.